Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here to work on Project 100. And if you look at this case, it's empty. So I do have another one that's pretty full, but that probably has maybe 50 pattern paper kits in there. Now that doesn't have the embellishments, but it has the pattern papers. But I wanna start filling this up because in my scrap room, as far as page kits to use to, you know, to make pages, if I go to a crop or in here in my scrap room, I only have maybe two page kits left and then that's it. <laughs> so I want to make sure that I'm always building page kits so that if an impromptu crop comes up and it's just for a day or something like that, I can just grab like 20 page kits and go to that crop and be successful in that day. Because right now, because of everything that's going on in life, I can't commit to, you know, there's a weekend coming up in May and oh, I wish I could go so bad. But because of, you know, like I said, life and commitments, I can't go. You know, Mason has his spring hockey and it is triple A and they play hockey every weekend. And actually that weekend on May 27th, that's the biggest tournament that they're going to go to. So it's like, I can't miss that, right? I can't miss that. But while we're chatting or while we're putting page kits together, we're just going to be chatting about what's been going on, you know, and what's coming up on my YouTube channel. It's been a minute. I've been uploading a video here and there for the last month, but I had my scrapathon, and where we did, well, there's 31 videos because there's one for every day, and there was a challenge for every day. And then we did some lives on the Facebook group. So really all together, there is 35 videos. Oh, 30. There's two preps plus a 31. So that's 33 plus four on Facebook. So that's 37 videos. <laughs> so I've been a little busy. Plus I had stuff on Patreon, you know, every two videos a week plus you know, there's the make a page kits, plus there's lives there too. So it's not as if I wasn't, you know, doing anything. But now I'm back to, you know, wanting to do stuff on YouTube and stuff. And so I'm going to start doing lives. It's either going to be on Tuesdays or Thursdays is what I'm thinking. And I think one week it's going to be during the day and one week it's going to be at night so that you know you can kind of catch them but you'll always be able to catch them after the fact but anyway let's just get started i like this here and what i like about page kits or you know scraps like this is at one point i probably used quite a bit of these papers together so why not give them another chance now another thing i'm going to have at the ready is these recipe cards, right? Because I'm going to separate those. Now at this point, a lot of them are not going to have a back to it. And that's why it's important to have this too. And what I'm going to try to do is before I put it in that container, I'm going to try and at least grab a page that I can put as the background. And then that way we'll have that when we do the rest of these. So I'm just going to put these to the side. And we're going to try and do maybe, I don't know, depending on how fast this goes, you know, maybe up to 10 paper kits. And then, so we're going to start doing these again every week. And I'm going to try and build up my stash of page kits. It's nice to have paper kits, but I like to take it to the next level and add my embellishments. And then... You know, even if I can, you know, almost get it ready to the point of when I go to a crop, right? Add the photos, add the journaling, add the titles and all that. If I could get it almost to that point, then if I get an impromptu crop, 
I don't even have to worry about putting pictures into these, right? And then I'll have pages to do here for YouTube. Okay, so I, so we got page kit number one. Now this has, I don't know if you can see here, it has some orange in there. So we can probably put these together. Let's try and see. See, that's quite a bit of patterns. You got the circles, you got the cross, and you got this. So I'll probably just use a couple of these, but I like this together. Okay. And what about this right here? This, this is my nemesis. <laughs> that's a big part of what gets your scrap broom kind of crazy, right? So I'm trying to, I don't know if you saw my last, it'll probably be my last video that's up on YouTube. I, on April 1st, I started cleaning up my room and I am making some incredible progress. And what I'm doing is every day is after I finish scrapping, or making page kits or whatever the case may be is I clean up what I've used you know what I took out that day but also I pick another area in my scrap room and I pick it up so I pick kind of a problem area and I pick it up see these are kind of you wouldn't think of putting them together but there's some little blue plus signs in here. So I'm going to put that in there just to add some extra color and maybe that yellow cuz there's yellow in there too. Hey, let's let's try let's try to expand <laughs> the number of colors that I put in a page kit, right? Okay, that would be too much, but this I'm going to put that in my little container here where I put some leftover embellishments from the last few pages that I've put together. Okay. What about this? Yeah, that's the same color. We'll put it in there. And, ooh, yeah, that's the same color. Let's put that all in there and let's see if we can use all of that together. Let's move the scissors off to the side and we will do this. Now, what I should do is again, oh, you know what I started doing? If I want to make 10 page kits, instead of, you know, making little ticks and figuring out how many I want to do, I got two here. Let's take out eight more of these. So one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. And then I know when I'm done with these, I'll have my 10 done. And then I don't have to keep, I don't have to keep um, wondering how many. And then the same thing when I want to add embellishments, I can just dig through. And if I want to make five, I just go, I'm going to take out five and set them on the side. And then I'll, you know, once I'm done that, I'll know that I'll got, I got five. Oh, that was one of the techniques that we did in the scrapathon was to use some foil. And that was just different ways that we, we did it on the page. Um, okay. So let's just put that to the side. Now, next a page. So yes, we have been so busy. <laughs> Mason was his regular hockey. At his age, he has to do like minor hockey. And then he's also um, on a triple A team. So, and that's spring hockey. And you have to try out for that and everything. So that supposedly starts like in April but they do stuff all year long too like there's extra tournaments and that stuff so there was the minor hockey then there was a triple a then he's in a hockey school that's called CCM so he was doing that 
was there something else? At the beginning of the year, he had BAM, so he finished off he finished off BAM, which is another hockey school. It's like, and then we do the we have a major junior team here, and we have season tickets to their team, and so we go to that. <laughs> So four or five times a week is dedicated to hockey. I said to Dave, I said, I am, I'm ready for it to be winding down. Although his um, spring hockey is just starting, but at least there's only that. So like next week, we only have hockey on Monday, Thursday, and then all day Saturday. And that's not a lot. <laughs> there's no major junior like last week there was two games of major junior plus all his hockey so we were at hockey ranks a lot of days but you know what um that was the best you know for me to kind of work for from home that was the best for me because then I can be like hey, I can make sure that I go to all his stuff. You know, that was, I mean, I, when I worked full time, Josh was in hockey and um, I would have to come in early so that the people would stay late for me so I could go to his games or if it was a night shift, you know, I would, they would stay late. And then after doing a night shift, I would have to stay there till nine or 10 o'clock in the morning. That was exhausting, but I didn't want to miss his hockey game. So that's just what I did. So there's been a lot of hockey plus, you know, with everything that's going on in the world, um, our little part of our world hasn't been very affected throughout this whole craziness, except for this new variant. Like, literally, we had under, way under a thousand cases um, for the longest time. And now we're getting that about a day. And we were affected, you know. So first, Josh got it. And he's doing fine. He's 100% better. And then now, her other daughter, Katie, she's going through it right now, which she's on the, the mend. So that's good. Dave and I are the only two that haven't been affected yet. <laughs> so it's a little crazy. They were, um, they did, they did get somewhat sick, but, um, they're, they're doing better now. So, oops, I'm going to move my ETG cause I don't need that. And I'm going to end up hitting it 500 times. But, you know, you you still worry a lot, right? You worry a lot. So I've been kind of worried about them, calling them every day, driving them nuts. And I, and I told them, I said, I need to hear your voice. I can tell by your voice, you know, how you're doing. So just bear with me. And you're just going to have to deal with me calling you every day and talking to you for 10, 15 minutes. Katie was pretty good. <laughs> Josh was like, I don't feel like talking, Mom. My throat is killing me and I just don't feel like talking. Okay, well then, just talk for a few minutes and then just listen to me. <laughs> I love this paper. Okay. I don't know if I particularly like this stack of, it's this stack of um, 
scraps. And it's funny because I could come in a week from now and, you know, pick up this stack and I would get totally inspired. But today I'm not feeling very inspired by this stack. I'm going to keep looking because, you know, I'm stubborn. Okay, I like this. There is some black arrows on this, so I can use this. And then maybe we can add some scraps of cardstock. Because it's not only the scraps of pattern papers that I want to use. I also want to use my scraps of cardstock. I mean, this is one, one of these plastic bags. You know, that's one of these. And it was pretty full. I probably have 10, 10 of those. Pretty much all of them pretty stacked, you know, full of carts or pattern papers. So I need to use them. Oh, this was another technique that we did. Oh, look, a little enamel dot in black and I use them a lot. That's another technique we did on Scrapathon. It's still uh, available. The only difference is, is you'll get all 31 videos all at once. And right now, while I'm thinking about it, everything is on sale. Um, if you use spring 20, you get an extra 20% off on everything. All our digital files, the classes, everything. Okay. So that's why we haven't had, you know, any kind of new releases because um, he has not been feeling well. And some people, it lasts five days. Him, it was almost the whole two weeks. So, so hopefully next week. Haven't seen him since the 19th of March. And we're April 8th today. So I think they're, or April 9th today. And I think they're coming tonight. So, yay. <laughs> Not Katie, because she, um, she's isolating right now. Okay, I like this color right here. Let's see if I can do that. Okay. Oh, here's another thing that we did. Is that this time? Or is that another time? I can't remember. I can't remember. That might have been practice. Because I, oh, this was the Scrapathon 2. That was some practice. Because I do a lot of, like, playing. And this, this was part of the playing, too. <laughs> I do a lot of practice stuff before I actually, you know, film the video. So there we go. We'll take those out. I might put them, oh, and this was something else too. This was with the Nuvo Drops. That was fun. Okay. So obviously these were some of the page kits that I use with Scrapathon. So these were used kind of recently. So it's nice that I'm trying to put them on a layout already, right? Yes, they didn't make the cut. And a lot of times it's because I, is that green or, yeah, that's green. I put a lot of pattern papers in one page kit. I'm gonna get, because I know exactly where they are, a black 12 by 12. Um, I put a lot. I might actually get a white. I don't know. I'm going to start with that for now. And I might add a white in there too. So I put a lot of pattern papers in each of my page kits. So, you know, it's understandable that a lot of it doesn't get used. But not only that... Because, you know, a lot of it was focused on 
um, techniques, a lot of times, um, because you're doing a technique, less pattern papers get used up. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. I think I like this side. Maybe I can cut like a section off of that and use it. So, okay, I'm gonna put that with that and we will put another card in there and see, it's fun. I don't have to wonder how many pattern papers I've put together up to now because when I run out of cards, I know I am done. And for putting pattern papers together, I find that 10 is a good amount. And when I put embellishments on there, it's super slow. It's, it takes me way longer per page. So then I say maybe five. Okay, that's, I'm gonna put that there too and try to use it. Maybe five, and then I find the video long enough. Okay, it's funny because because my room is so clean, I'm looking at this and I'm like, no, it's so messy. <laughs> it's okay. I'll I'll clean it up after. I need to let it go. <laughs> or if I, you know, we always said, you know, during our lives, if your room is not messy, it's because you're not creating. Very true. Very true. But I need to be better at doing a more thorough cleanup. Because I always cleaned up, like during the month of March, I probably cleaned up, not a word, word of lie, at least 12 times, but not to the extent that I did it in that video. I would clean up, you know, my desk area so I could see my, my desk. But I didn't take everything off and I didn't, you know, clean, 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 clean. So what I'm doing now is every time, because it's so clean, every time I make a layout, I just clean it to that. And it only takes me five minutes, literally five minutes. I like this. I like these together, but then I don't like this. Should I do a page kit with just, I was going to say with just um, cardstock, but I like this. So I'm going to use that. Even goes with this side. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to put this because I'm not going to use that as the background. I'm going to use that as a piece that I cut. So I'm okay with that. I'm going to try and not put as many pattern papers. And then that way maybe I'll use more. And I really like it when I make page kits to go to a crop because when I go to a crop, I don't focus on techniques or anything like that. I just basically open the page kit, look at what I have, and I try to use as much as I possibly can out of that page kit. So what happens is, yes, my, page, my pages may not be like, full of techniques and things like that. But to me, when I go to a crop, my goal is to try to get as many, as many pages as I possibly can. So then that works for me. That works for me because I end up making a ton of pages. And, you know, for classes or for Patreon and things like that, then we focus more a little bit, a little bit more on techniques so then I use a little bit less pattern papers. And what that does, it makes it so that my albums have a great variety. Oh, I am so sad. I think this is my last craft cardstock from American Craft. And that's my favorite craft. I'm pretty sure I got that at Studio Calico. I don't know what their shipping is like now. So I might go and see if their shipping is not too bad. Like maybe get, you know, three or four packages because I use that craft stock all the time and I love it. Okay. 
Now let's see if I can add maybe a little like this. What's that doing in there? Garbage. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Okay. All right. I. It's very rare. See, that's cute. Let's put that in there, actually. It's very rare that I throw out a lot of stuff. So, look, I love these two together. Okay, I'm good. Let's get this done. Yay. All right. I think we're almost there, peeps. And then... I can clean this up. <laughs> like I said, I need to let it go. But today is Saturday. And, you know, I came upstairs to do a little, again, take an area in my room that needs a little bit of love and work on that. But I thought, hey, before I do that, how about if I make some page kits and start doing that? I like this together. And start doing that because I haven't done it in so long. And at first I thought, oh, maybe I can do a, you know, a um, kind of a, a live or real-time page for YouTube. And then when I looked at how many page kits I had, I'm like, oof, I don't have a lot. So how about if we start making page kits and then you know, I can do that because if I want to do some lives, I need some page kits because that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be playing. We're going to be making some pages. Some days we're going to be playing with uh, products. Okay, I like this. I, I want to use those. So we're going to be using some products. If you've been looking at my hauls lately, I've been hauling a lot of new stuff and I want to, I wish I could just have those two strips. I could cut them out, but I kind of like this pattern. So we're just going to not do that and see if there's anything else. Little scrap, why not? And this is perfect. This is something, I have a pictures of you know, when we went on our cruise and we're all at the airport, I could actually stick that in the corner of my layout and boom, an embellishment cluster. So it looks like a little piece of scrap, but I can use that. I can use it on a layout and make it mean something. Okay, this is kind of cray cray. And you know, yes, I could separate my pattern papers from my cardstock, but I like it to be in the same pile because I, I like to add some scraps of cardstock with the scraps of pattern papers. Somebody else suggested, you know, Nicole, you do everything by um, color. Why don't you do your scraps by color? And the reason is because I'm trying to get into the habit of doing more than just a couple of colors. So if I do everything by color, I'm not I'm not going to get out of that. <laughs> I'm going to keep doing that. So that's my goal. So as you saw there's a few of them there that I added two or three colors and that's why. So if I do everything by color, I'm going to keep just doing just a few colors. So here I know I have blue, pink, and yellow. So I want to try and get some blue, pink, and yellow. And the last thing I want to do is, you know, have three things open and try to go through that. This is crazy enough. Okay, so there's extra cards in here. So we'll put those away. That's the wrong pink. This one is not the same pink, but it's a lighter pink, so I'm okay with that. And I think, I think I'm okay with this. And again, I'm gonna add a background to this. Okay, I think we only have a couple more. And I wanted to do some dark blue stuff. Let's, let's do that. Okay, I like this. 
Let's do dark blue. And again, because of this pattern paper, I can go ahead and say, okay, I got blue, but then I'm going to add some pink. Some pink. And I can choose two or three colors. There's more than two or three in here, but I can, I can personally just choose two or three. And I can make it so that it's two or three colors that coordinate really well together. Okay. There's a few tones of blues in there, so we can do that. And do I want to add yellow in here? Or there's a purple. I don't think I want to do purple. If I was just doing, oh, that's another tone of blue that I like. And it goes well with that. I can maybe go towards the purple or I can go towards the pink a little more. But see, then we're getting into a lot of pattern. I'm not going to use this as the background. I'm going to cut a piece off that and I'm going to use it. So, but I'm still thinking of pattern, size of patterns, you know, whether one is way uh, busy, then I'm going to try and pick less busy patterns. Okay. Oh, look at this. Yes. And... Mm, Yeah, if I use this, I won't use this. So I'll put it there and it's going to be a, one or the other. Okay, so I think, I feel like I need a lighter color in this. And there's not a lot of yellow. I have to say, oh, I see yellow. Oh, it's just a little piece. This is what I was seeing. I was thinking more of a cardstock for that. So then I'm not introducing more patterns. Perfect. Okay, I think we're on our last one. Oh, no, we have two more. We have two more. Okay. Now, let's see what other color I like. And sometimes, you know, when I go through these, it's like... When I finish a page, I kind of put everything in that plastic bag all together. So putting pattern papers together again comes together really quickly. Now, I must have gone through this already since Scrapathon, I would say. And I think we did. We actually, yes, we did because we made, in one of the lives, we made 10 page kits. So I, and I would have used some of these. So that's why, like I've, I've already picked through these. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this away. I'm gonna go grab another bag with, oh, that's cute, with some pattern papers and we'll do our last two page kits. Okay, so here's another pile. And it's just as big as the last one. <laughs> now there's some full size cardstock in there. So awesome. Oh, this I like because it's red. And we haven't done any red page kits yet. So there you go. And see, this is what I mean. Nemesis. Now I want to ask you a question. Now. Uh, like I said, I did a video about uh, cleaning up my scrap room, but that was like almost like the aesthetic part, right? Like it was what you see when you first come in. And if I do say so myself, it looks amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love being in here now. I'm the type of person that, you know, when it's crazy like that, my mind gets cluttered. And then I, it, it kind of stops the creativity. My question is, would you like it if I did some videos? Because remember I said I'm going to do some spot organizing right now. And what I mean by that is I'm going to be opening drawers. I'm going to be, you know, going through some Rascogs. 
and um, kind of clean, cleaning that up and organizing those. Do you think that's worth filming? Okay, so this, I want to put this back with the viewfinders. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take this as the background. Why not? It's already there. So yeah, just let me know if, if that's be something that you would be interested in to see more organizing. More organizing. I love organizing, although I don't want that every time I come in my scrap room that that's all I do. Oh, more tags. We'll put those away. I don't want to make it so that that's all I do because that's not good either, right? We need to be we need to be creating in our craft room and not just Okay, that's some printer paper. <laughs> I'm organizing right now, peeps. Um we need to make sure that we're creating too, not just always organizing. So I'm trying to find that perfect balance. I think that's going to be good. Oh, there's more red papers coming up. Let's just wait here. Let's just wait and see. Yeah, I'm going to put that in there. I'm just going to put the one. So we got one more. So I could do it, you know, so that it might not be once a week, you know, that I do a video. But maybe once every two weeks. Here's some more of those cards that I do a video. Maybe it'll be once a week, but... I don't want to commit to once a week because I don't know if I'll, you know, have time to do that kind of, you know, another glue dot. So we'll put that and then I'll put that in my little container of glue dots because I've been using a lot of my glue dots that I made myself. Love them. Love them. One tip. And I told the girls uh, for Scrapathon and also on Patreon, but those little things that I made, they literally, because it's warmer in my craft room now, they will not come off those at all. So stick them in your fridge <laughs> and they get cold. And then I didn't share this part with them because I just discovered that because I was having a hard time getting them off. Then I take a pick tool and I just push them off and it comes off really easy, but they need to be cold. So I stick them in the fridge. Half the time I forget them there, but then when I see them, I'm like, oh yeah. And then I start pushing them off and then I put them in these little containers that I was saying. See how many of the white ones I have now? Awesome. So I have all kinds of enamel dots and how I glue them down on my page now is, do you remember those quick sticks? Oops. Do you remember those quick sticks that we used to use a long time ago? I glue the glue dot onto that and then, you know, you can take any glue, but I use my Distress Collage Medium. I make some little dots and then I just glue it on and then I take this part of the pick, hold the dot and, and pull this part off. Works awesome. And I've been using my handmade glue dots all the time. But putting them in the fridge is the key. Okay, so I think the last page, I'm going to do yellow and brown. I love yellow and brown. And look at that. There is a big cardstock. We'll do this. That. That. Oh, here's a half circle in yellow. I can maybe use that. Maybe use this. There's some more here. Let's get this little guy here. And look, there's, I see another yellow here. Why not? I probably, there's no way I'm going to use all of this, but hey, it has a chance to live on a page. So... 
we're going to do it. We're going to put that in there too. Isn't that pretty? But I'll leave it for, I was going to say, I'll leave it for another page kit session. But you know what? <laughs> I really like that. So let's do this. This is number 10. And I mean, this is together really nicely. I like this. It's got some splotches on it. So why not? I like that dark with it. Oh, look, I can flip this over to remind myself. I can use both sides. I like this. So you know what? We got 11 done. Boom. Now, next time, so probably sometime next week, we'll be adding embellishments on probably five. Maybe we'll start with these because they're fresh, you know, in our mind. And you know what, guys? Look, that coordinates. So we'll put that right on there. Instead of putting it in the file folder, we'll just put it right on there. And next week, we'll do five. The week after, we'll do the other five. And then that's what that's how I'm going to do it. We're going to do 10 page paper kits together. And then we'll do two sessions of, well, I was going to say two sessions of five each. But that's going to be almost 50 minutes each. Do you guys find that's too long? 50 minutes? Or I could do three sessions of, you know, three each and one of them four. So we'll see. We'll do three to five in each video where we're going to put embellishments. And then once we get all those done, then we'll get 10 more done. And then that way, I'll keep on top of it. I just thought of that right now. <laughs> Not that it's revolutionary, but hey, Anything that makes it so that I can get some page kits done as soon as possible. Because like I said, I am out. I am out, out, out. I might have like one or two and that's not enough. Um, like I said, I want to do some lives. And in the lives, I suppose we could put page kits together and that kind of stuff. But I'd rather, I'd rather put pages together. So we'll do putting the page kits together before and then we'll do this and while I think about it just to give you a heads up my next virtual crop I won't be able to do any this month the month of April because we only found out his schedule Mason's schedule a week before April 9th this this is the only weekend I could have done it and oh look 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 this is the only weekend I could have done it, and it was too short of notice. So the next one will be, I'm going to put that there, May 14th. So the weekend of May 14th, and it's Mother's Day. So what better way to treat ourselves as moms? And you can be a mom of a fur baby too. <laughs> a mom is a mom. And um, so that's going to be... The next virtual crop, that's going to be that weekend. And we're going to do 12 layouts in a weekend. 12 challenges. It's always a lot of fun. So that'll go up for sale probably in a couple of weeks. Either next week or the week after. So that'll be May 14th. Okay, oh, I might as well put these away too because, you know, clean, getting that room clean, <laughs> making sure. So the lives are gonna start. Okay, let's, let's just commit, people. So the lives are gonna start this coming week and we're gonna make it on Thursday. And the reason I say on Thursday is because then I can get the other stuff that I need to get done at the beginning of the week. And then I feel whew, I'm okay. And then I can do the live on Thursday. So this Thursday, it will be uh, during the day. 
because Mason has hockey at night. So we'll say Thursday morning at nine o'clock, we're gonna be live on YouTube. And I think, what day are we today? And I have nothing to check here. Let me check. Oh, yes, I do. Yay. Yeah, we are the ninth. And, oh, by the way, I'm filming on my new iPhone. See, this is my old iPhone. I haven't, I'm going to clear it up and then I'm going to put it up for sale. But let me know what the quality is. Uh, there's going to be a haul and it was like blown out. And I think it's because the HDR was on. And because I have so many studio lights, it was too much. So I took it off. So I'm kind of experimenting because it's my new iPhone 13. So it'll be April 14th at 9 a.m. And then, oh, see, the, the virtual crop will be the weekend of May 13th to May 15th. That'll be the virtual crop, the next one. And the live will be on, May, on April 14th. Hey, it's almost the same weekend <laughs> or almost the same date. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to end it here. We got 10 pages or page kits done. And then next week, this will go up today. So you'll see this on April 9th. And then next week, I'll start putting some embellishments on these page kits. So that's it. I want to thank you so much for watching. Bye.